Welcome back to the Far East Economic Report. Authorities in Hong Kong are struggling to cope with a steady stream of illegal immigrants from an unexpected source, the United States. Mike Brooks has more on the story. Attracted by free health care and better paying jobs, Americans are increasingly willing to pay snakeheads up to $1,000 each to bring them from the US to Hong Kong. Most illegal immigrants appear to be arriving by sea on container ships. Once the freighter anchors, the stowaways make their way to shore, either by swimming or by commandeering sampans to make their way to the beaches. Once on land, American snakeheads arrange safe houses and jobs for them. Human rights campaigners have expressed concern about the treatment of the American workers who work up to 18 hours a day for low wages. Uh, even the Americans, uh, they have human rights. Huh? And, and they are definitely being exploited. I didn't think it was too bad, actually. After a while, I, I realized my cards were quite good. Uh, with my PhD and my uh, Master in Economics, uh, I thought, well, I'll make it through and I'll find a new job. But, you know, interview after interview, I realized that um, it was a bit of a challenge. And um, so here I am now. I'm. Uh, enjoying my new job. It's um, very creative and it's very um, challenging and stimulating in various ways. Any of these boats may have contained American illegal immigrants, such as the gun metal colored ship in the horizon, or maybe even this large vessel behind me with the star on the funnel. They'll do anything to try and gain a better life. Let's face it, we're better dancers and we've got bigger boobs. Now look, in the US I would make just a lousy 20 bucks an hour, but here I can make almost a hundred. But the newcomers are not looked upon with favor by everyone. Filipinos and other Asians who have the right to work legally in Hong Kong are particularly unhappy about the new competition. Hong Kong is our place. Dito kami nabubuhay. Yankees, go home! Well, at least we are legal. I just wonder why the police doesn't do anything to kick them out of here. The USA, we're the best, even better when undressed. For some American bankers who've lost their jobs on Wall Street, Hong Kong has proved a real lifesaver. The Hong Kong financial sector has been able to exploit these illegal American immigrants for their financial services. Even some of the Asian banks, uh, they are taking advantage of the American illegals here uh, because they know that they don't have to pay them as much as locals. Police say they were tipped off by vigilantes who call themselves Minutemen. These are volunteers who watch our shores looking out for signs of illegal immigrants trying to sneak into Hong Kong. Some Hong Kong citizens are supporting the police by forming vigilante groups and keeping a close watch on the shorelines. I'm looking for Americans. They come from Hong Kong, you go to work. I'm amateur, I'm volunteer. I will call the police because they steal the jobs for the Hong Kong people. I prefer them, the Americans, to the Filipino Amas because they are very hardworking, they're very docile, and they work for much less, for less holidays. Also, I prefer my children to speak American English because one day they're going to go to Ivy League school. The government should send them to the US as soon as possible. They're stealing our jobs. I think the Hong Kong government should leave them alone because they're very hardworking and they should stay here. Ma'am, would you like some more tea? Yes, please. At least one American has a legal job in Hong Kong. Jeff Harrelson now works for the Hong Kong police. He's an ex-American Minuteman. His experience tracking down Mexican illegal aliens trying to enter the United States has proved invaluable in Hong Kong. Yeah, 
It's a little weird to be hunting Americans, I admit. After all, I am an American, but it's a job and it's legal. With all my experience hunting Mexicans in Texas, hey, this is a 50 Mexican gold chain. Not everyone has one of these. And I want an equivalent one for Americans. And besides, if I went back to America, the only job left now with the economic crisis, debt collector. They don't get to carry guns. Some of them may even be lurking around these markets, or working in sweatshops, making mini bagels. Most illegal immigrants slip successfully into the territory. I'm working, making some money. You know, it's not, not the greatest job I ever had, but it's, uh, it's better than nothing. It gets kind of smelly, it's kind of dirty, but uh, sure hell is better than sitting on my ass watching TV at home. This boat carried a haul of American immigrants. And they've been handcuffed and taken to detention centers. Their punishment to watch endless reruns of Big Brother. I met an American lady working as a maid, you know, it's okay. Chinese people treat her pretty good. So, anyway. The Hong Kong police are stepping up efforts to crack down on illegal Americans. From all of us here at the Far East Economic Report, good night.